This question comes from uh, Key Lee and actually is directly about the issue of moats. Uh, he notes that uh, Elon Musk this week on his Tesla earnings call said the following, quote, I think moats are lame. They are like nice in a sort of quaint vestigial way. And if your only defense against invading armies is a moat, you will not last long. What matters is the pace of innovation. That is the fundamental determinant of competitiveness, unquote. So Warren, it seems the world has changed. Business is getting more competitive, pace of innovation, technology is impacting everything. Is Elon right? Let me well, add to that, Warren. Elon says a conventional moat is quaint, and that's true of a puddle of water. And he says that the best moat would be to have a big competitive position, and that is also right. <laughs> it's, a, it's ridiculous. Warren does not intend to build an actual moat. <laughs> Even though they're quaint. Yeah. <laughs> There's certainly a great, mem a great number of businesses. This has always been true, but it does seem like it, the pace has accelerated and so on in recent years. There's been uh, more moats that have been become susceptible to invasion uh, than, than seemed to be the case earlier. But, but there's always been the attempt to do it, and there, here and there, there are probably uh, uh, places where the moat is as strong as ever. But certainly, you can work it. Certainly, should be working at improving your own moat and defending your own moat all of the time. And, and uh, Elon may turn things upside down in in some areas. Uh, I don't think he'd want to take us on in candy. But uh, <laughs> and we've got some other businesses that wouldn't. It's always easy. To, uh, you can uh, you can look at something like uh, Granables out there in the other room, and and uh, it won't be technology that takes takes away the business and, and, and grantables it, it may be something else that catches the young kid's fantasy or something, but uh, there, are, there are some pretty good moats around. Being the low-cost producer, for example, is a terribly important moat. And something like GEICO, uh, technology has really not brought down the cost that much. And that, uh, I, think, I think our position as there are a couple of companies that have costs as low as ours, but among big, com big companies, we are a low-cost producer, and that is not bad when you're selling an essential item.